Hi everybody, Cindy Ellers here from the central part of Wisconsin. Today's date is May 30th, 2022. And welcome to Cindy Stamping Studio and my weekly Facebook Live. Today is Memorial Day in the United States and um, I'm not sure if I'll have very many people tune in, but it's okay. I know people will watch it later and I want to find myself on my Kindle. Well, there's Sally. I knew I could count on her. So that's great. Okay, let's see. Let me find myself on my Kindle. So it shouldn't be too much. I hope everybody had a, a good Memorial Day. Um, that There we are. Yes. And there is somebody else, but I'm not sure who that is. Make sure you say hi to me so that you get in on the weekly door prize for commenting and for um, sharing. Uh, let's see. This week, my stamp set is called Glad We Are Friends. And I have a fun fold to share with you, so I can't wait to try that. Well, there's Jeannie Mullen and Sherry Martin, who has already shared, by the way, and thank you so much. This stamp set is so cute. It's on page, it's on, I got it somewhere floating around. Oh, right here. Glad We Are Friends is on page 51 of the annual catalog. It has the cutest little puppy and a cat and a guinea pig. So that's going to be our stamp set that we're going to play with tonight. There we are. And um, what I have going on this week, well, tomorrow night is my kit class in Nilsville. As you know, that class is also available as a to-go class. So um, if you're ever interested, contact me and I will get you set up. So let's see. Um, maybe you real maybe you heard me talking about the Veterans Day, uh, the patriotic thank you cards for veterans. I went and met up with the lady and gave her the cards, and she was so appreciated them. We ended up with 138. Patriotic thank you cards. And I am so proud of our stamping ladies that they once again came through for me and I appreciate it so much. And thank you for sharing, Kay. I appreciate it. Yeah, I kind of figured not too many people would show up. Yeah, they're probably still en route home from their Memorial Day festivities. Well, there's Linda. Well, welcome. Nice to see you. Stamping Up has, it starts June 1st, a buy one, get one special on their kits. You buy one and then you get the second one for 50% off. Um, they change the kits quite regularly and there's quite a few really cute ones. Um, the kits is a great, if you have any, if you're planning to do any traveling, it's a great way to pass the time if you're camping or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow is the last day to join my team and get the fantastic deal that Stamping Up is offering. You know, with the free um, in colors, grid paper, designer series paper, and cardstock. In addition to the $125 of your choice merchandise and a paper, free paper pumpkin and free shipping all for $216 so if you have a wish list now is the time to join because I've never seen a deal that good and there's no obligation you can be a hobby demonstrator you can be a business builder you can do whatever you want and stamping up will not pressure you to buy more than you can afford. That's just not how it is. Hi Kathy Bros, nice to see you. I'm glad you were able to make it. Anyway, this great deal is worth $216. 
it only costs $99 and you get free shipping. So this is a good deal. Okay, well, I have cards to show tonight. And um, I got the stamp. Hi, Lori. Hall. Nice for you to join us. I am so glad you're here. I'm, I'm really glad. That's great. I'm, that's wonderful. I have a couple of Just Jade embellishments that I'm going to give to. The first one I'm going to give to is for comments. Now, I use um, random.org. That is the website I use, and everybody gets assigned a number. And so whatever number random.org goes and picks, that's how I figure out who the winner is. So for these really cute Just Jade gems, they are going to go to our own Jeannie Mullen from Virginia. So congratulations, Jeannie. These are coming your way for sharing. They are going to go to Courtney Ostendarp from North Carolina. So Courtney and Jeannie, congratulations. Here's the door prize winners. I'll put them on my desk. Okay, we got that. I will now flip my camera around and we'll get started. Okay, first things first, you have to flip it around. You will notice today, it is very nice out. Um, it's getting humid, but a cold front is going through the state tonight. Thank goodness, because I don't like humid. And um, it's supposed to be a lot cooler the rest of the week, so that makes me very happy. But windy, oh my goodness, I'll be watering my plants tonight for sure. That wind, we got wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. It's just crazy. So I'm going to go and let you see outside. There we go. And now I will flip it down. Whoops. Hi, Debbie Vine. Nice to see you. I just finished the stamp of the month cards. So I won't be showing them tonight, but I'll show them next week. I have other cards to show tonight. Okay. We will put this over here. I have cards to share. They're from our May technique class. And there we go. I'm getting myself set up on my uh, laptop because that way I know for sure if it's working. It doesn't always cooperate on my Kindle for whatever reason. You know, it's just like, whatever. A uh, little bit blurry. Okay. All right. Ah. This was our fancy fold. It is called a diamond fold, and that's what it looks like. I really liked how this turned out. Um... What's even better about this card is when, when I, once I got it done, I looked at it and I thought, oh my gosh, this would make a great graduation card. Can't get much easier than that. And then I got these cute tassels rather than making them myself. And I just finished this card up because I was commissioned to make a graduation card. And, um... I went and I stamped the envelope, and this stamp is from a group of stamps from 2004. One of those stamps that you keep because it's just so versatile, and well, you've had it forever. <laughs> so, okay, this was our fancy fold, and I don't know where the rest of them went to. Well, I guess that's the only one I can show you. Maybe I showed the rest last week. I don't even remember. 
I received this card in the mail from my friend Jan, Janet Fortin, and um, a different way to go and use designer paper, if you ask me. It really is quite nice. She made this from the tea um, suite. Here is the sending card, and that turned out just gorgeous. And then the the um, using the hues of happiness designer series paper and and what was it called? Happiness abound. That's what it was. And lastly, this was another. Um, we've made this fun fold. He's all that. That's a nice card. I like that. And so that's what I received from Jan. I thought they were really cute. Awesome graduation card. Yes, Kay. It really, it was one of those, um, it was one of those light bulb moments. I was just reading the other, um, the other comment from Lori. Those tassels, these tassels, so much better than making them yourself. I got them off of Amazon. And... All I did was do a search for tassel, and this is what came up. They weren't that expensive, and it, it's considered a craft. So other people must make these for crafts. I guess if I didn't want it to be longer than the card, I could even just cut it, but I didn't. And then I use a button, a black button, with a glue dot is what holds, holds it on. So yeah, that was one of those aha moments. Okay, so here's the stamp set we're going to use to get myself set up. Um, it looked, when I was going through the Ando catalog, it looked like such a fun um, stamp to use. And I thought, why not, right? Okay. We are going to use the cat and the puppy. And it's a really easy, fun fold. I think you'll like it a lot. All right, let's put this over there. I have everything marked out. I think you're gonna, I think it's gonna be pretty easy to follow. Um, I just wish I had a bigger desk, right? Oh uh, yeah, oh well. All right, we have our card base, which is balmy blue, and that is your regular five and a half by four and a quarter. That's our base. Then we're going to have um, a layer, which is Calypso Cora, and that is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. Okay, so that, that's going to go right like that. I like to set my card up and make sure I have it all okay. I could take a little bit more off that edge. That's almost, can't even see the balmy blue. I think that'll be better. Oh, yes, that looks so much better. Okay, so then you have... You have a right flap that's three by three and a half and scored at half an inch. You have a left flap which is three and a half by four and scored at half an inch. Three and a half by four? That doesn't look right, does it? Left flap, three and a half by four, right flap, three by three and a half. Yep, that's right. We're going to use two pieces of designer series paper, and the paper I'm using tonight is called a wash in beauty. We're going to have two the same size, three quarters of an inch by four. You have to have two of them. Um, then you're going to have a square, which is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And that is going to go on this square we're gonna have 
a three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and of course that'll go on that square. Like so. We're gonna have a two and a half by two and a half white piece and a two by two. Okay, of course that white piece goes there. We got that. And five and a quarter by four. Okay, I got it now. I just made this card this afternoon. You I I shouldn't have even I shouldn't even question myself because you know so we're gonna take we're gonna take our white piece. Let's get all this other stuff aside. This will be our inside. This is the inside. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go and take our two three quarters of an inch by four. And they're gonna go on our white piece just like that. Okay, so let's do that. Hi Tracy, I'm so glad you could join us. Alrighty. That'll go on the top. Now this is the inside. We're kinda, we're doing that just a little bit different tonight. Usually I don't, um, Start from the inside, but tonight we are. We put that at the top. We put the other one on the bottom. Just like so. Okay. We don't need that. Now, we're going to go and... We're going to go and, well, first we should stamp it with balmy blue ink. We are going to, this would be our inside greeting. We're going to stamp, growing older is mandatory, growing up is optional. Happy birthday. Just like so. Alrighty. I'll put that on put that aside and what I want to do is I want to put this just like so boy that really cuts us short but that's because I cut this down that's our chain reaction right like I said I have kit class tomorrow night. Looking forward to seeing everybody. This week is going to be all messed up, right? You know how it goes when you have a holiday. And then on Saturday morning, I get to have my grandkids over, which I'm really looking forward to that. Just like that. Uh, put this aside. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, so Sunday, they're going to stay overnight even. So Sunday I have them too. So that'll be a lot of fun. Now, we're going to go. These all go together. Okay. We're going to go and take the two and a half by two and a half white piece with our memento black ink and we're going to stamp we're going to stamp our little cat so it looks just like that and that's all the black oh no it's not all the black we need but then we want to go and stamp the greeting, which is, glad we're friends. And we're going to stamp, whoops, we're going to stamp that right on the bottom, like so. And then we'll take our blends and we will color it so it looks like that. 
And I can see I've, I did stamp that. So I gotta stamp it again. I'll do that. There, that's better. All right. Moving right along. We're gonna take our, okay, we're gonna go and cause I have it scored. We're gonna take our bone folder and this, oh, in case you're wondering, this um, is called an overlapping flap. So it's really a fun It's really a fun fanciful. So I've already done this. And what we're going to do is that goes there like so. And we're gonna put our tear tape right there. I have to go I have to go slow so that I don't mess up. Okay. okay. So this is gonna go just like so. We're gonna put that right like so. All right, we're gonna take our um our, our two and three quarters by two and three quarters designer series paper, and we're gonna put this right there. So let's do that. My husband and I, well, you know, we had the tornado in December last year. So this weekend was a working weekend for us. But, you know, it's okay because the yard is finally, um, the yard, our yard is finally starting to look like we're getting all the sticks picked up, all the wood chips picked up. It's just finally starting to look better. And I'm so glad. Um. We had how many piles of brush that we had to pick up. And it was just, you know, so overwhelming. Which which way do we turn first? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, hi, Arliss. Ah, today would have been a good day to t take a nap, I think. What I'm making is, it's called an overlapping fun fold. And we're using the Glad We're Friends stamp set, which is on page 51 of the annual catalog. So this is the first flap, right like so. Now we're going to go and take our second piece, which is three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and we'll be putting that on uh, our right flap. Oh, right flap. That's the, it's got to be the left flap. I don't think it matters, if you want my opinion. So that one's going to go just like that. That's how the card opens. So we're going to put our, we will put our tear tape right like that. Thank you for sharing. Yes, that's right, Lori. We'll have all summer, and I even said to Jim, now we get the boat out. Now we're going to go fishing. It's time. You know, we, um, our son and daughter-in-law, bless their heart, they went and planted a little bit bigger garden this year. My garden isn't going to be as big as other years, and I appreciate that so much. So, let's see. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so see how that goes just like that. And then this one opens up and we'll put our designer paper on there. It works out best if you take your time and um, talk to yourself while you're doing it. I, that's what I always say. I always figure I talk to myself because I need expert advice when I do stuff like this. Okay, getting better. Just like so. All right, not quite done yet. Um, we have to put it on our base. Base is right here. Okay. Well, hi, Jan. Thank you. Better late than never. Well, you know, you can always go back a little bit later and um, catch the replay. You know, it's always on my business page for Facebook. On Thursday, it'll be on my blog, which I've been telling everybody that my blog is my landing page. It's where I post about everything. Okay, so we're putting this on our base, and it's going to be perfect, yes, just like so. Now, I did mention, it's not, I'm not done yet, I did mention that I wanted to use the puppy. Now, here's the puppy, um, all colored, all cut out, and we're going to go put a little bit of white glue on him. So anyway, I'm looking forward to going fishing with Jim. So hopefully that'll be happening soon. I want to make sure... Yeah, I did. Oh, boy, I just did. I want to make sure my little flap covers my puppy. So it's like a... When you open it, it's like a surprise. So that's pretty cool. And then lastly, I have these... Fat, solid faceted gems and I went and I wrote what the colors are balmy blue navy petal pink melon pool party and mossy meadow so we have a lot of gems to use come on there we go and this is going to work out perfect I want to put get a smaller one that one's going to go right here, like so. And then I want a little bit bigger one. And that one will go right there. And that completes our card. So, yeah, there's our card. I think it would be a cute birthday card. Too bad I don't have it. Too bad I already have Andy's card already made. Hi, Bev. So nice to see you. And then you open it just like so. So this is a cute stamp set. I'm glad I got it. And it is called the Overlapping Fun Fold. Here is, here is our stamp set again, if you're interested. Um, for today only. Oh, no. Till Wednesday, I'll get a new host code for June, but this is my host code now. So, there. Is that cute? All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for stopping in. I appreciate it so much. Um, I hope you have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you back here next Monday for another really cute card. And, um... I just appreciate you all. So, thank you so much. Have a great rest of the week. Happy stamping.